Abnormal uterine bleeding is a vaginal bleeding in any of the following situations that are considered abnormal, especially when a woman has uh, bleeding in between her periods, uh, after intercourse, uh, heavier bleeding or more bleeding uh, than her normal menstrual cycle, uh, also after uh, having had her menopause and any vaginal bleeding or spotting at any time of her menstrual cycle. Abnormal uterine bleeding can have many causes. In a reproductive woman, the first thing that we want to make sure is whether or not they're pregnant because pregnancy is an important cause of abnormal uterine bleeding, especially if they are having miscarriages or they may have a suspicion for an ectopic pregnancy. Infection can also cause uh, an abnormal uterine bleeding, especially if they have an infection in their uterus or in their cervix. Women who are taking birth control medications such as oral contraceptive pills, uh, hormonal injection, intrauterine device can also have abnormal uterine bleeding. Other uh, causes of abnormal uterine bleeding would be structural abnormalities within the uterus such as fibroids, polyps, and metal hyperplasia, which are thickening of the lining of the uterus, which could be a precancerous uh, state uh, of the uterus. Other medical conditions that can cause abnormal uterine bleeding would be uh, patients who have thyroid disorders or endocrine disorders, some patients that have bleeding abnormalities or clotting disorders that they're taking blood thinning medications. When a woman comes into the office with complaints of abnormal uterine bleeding, I always ask them thoroughly about their personal and family medical history. I also um, perform a detailed physical examination, including a pelvic examination. Uh, the first thing, the first test that I always perform is uh, to a pregnancy test to make sure whether or not they are pregnant. Afterwards, uh, they may need some blood tests uh, to rule out any other medical conditions uh, that could cause abnormal uterine bleeding. Uh, a woman may also need to have an ultrasound in order to outline uh, the uh, reproductive structures such as the uterus, ovaries, and the fallopian tubes. If I see a suspicious uh, lesion within the uh, ultrasound, occasionally I will perform a sonohistorography which a fluid was instilled within the uterus to look for the possibility of having fibroids or polyps. If I see a fibroids or polyps within the uterus, uh, sometimes a hysteroscopy uh, in which a thin camera is inserted into the uterus to identify these structures that could cause abnormal uterine bleeding. In a postmenopausal woman, occasionally, I would, uh, for the most part, I would do an individual biopsy to rule out the possibility of cancer. The types of treatment for abnormal uterine bleeding depends on uh, the cause of bleeding, uh, the woman's age, and whether or not she wants uh, to have more children. Most women are treated with uh, medications and others may need surgery. Hormonal medications we use are, are used to control uh, abnormal uterine bleeding in the form of oral contraceptive pills, hormonal injection, intrauterine device. We also treat uh, infections if they are the cause of abnormal uterine bleeding with antibiotics. Other medications that we use are non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen or uh, naproxen uh, to help control the bleeding as well as to reduce menstrual cramping. The types of surgeries that we offer for abnormal uterine bleeding can include hysteroscopy or myomectomy to remove any polyps or fibroids within the uterus. We also perform endometrial ablation to cauterize the lining of the uterus. And in this scenario, the women uh, who have abnormal bleeding, bleeding or underwent ablation will either have no bleeding or may have reduced bleeding. And the last options that we offer for abnormal uterine bleeding in the form of surgery would be hysterectomy, 
which is a removal of the uterus and in this scenario they will no longer have bleeding and also they need to understand that they will not be able to get pregnant after a hysterectomy.